So very similar chemically, um, very intense experiences that people report with these two drugs. Um, usually they're inhaled, so they're both short acting, uh, but the content of the experience is very different. So what, what is what, what do we know about the differences between DMT and 5-MeO-DMT that account for their differences? There's a couple of pharmacological things right off the bat. The psychedelic effects presumably are mediated by activation of 5-HT2A receptors. But 5-ethoxy-DMT in animal models and also in vitro has really powerful effects in stimulating the serotonin 1A receptor. Mm. And 1A receptors are also expressed on uh, the axons of, a of the cortical pyramidal cells. So they actually have a different effect. Um, and we don't really understand that. But probably the 5-methoxy-DMT, the fact that it's so different, is related to the fact that it's such a powerful 5-HT1A agonist. DMT doesn't have that much 5-HT1A agonist activity, but 5-methoxy-DMT is a really potent 5-HT1A agonist as well. Mm -hmm. And is that is that... Um... Is that something that distinguishes 5-MeO-DMT from most other psychedelics? Do most of them not interact with this receptor or do so much more weakly? Much more weakly. Um, the phenethylamines, like mescaline, don't really activate it at all. It's mostly the tryptamines. Um, and there again, 5 methoxy dmt is almost unique. Some people have called it the god molecule because, you know, you completely lose consciousness. And uh, whereas with DMT, it's more entertaining and visual. Pymethox mm -hmm. DMT really shuts off uh, people's consciousness. Mm -hmm. And nobody, you know, we just, we're, we're too early in the study of these to really understand what it is. But it, if you look at a cortical pyramidal cell, the 5-HT2A receptors are on the apical dendrites and they activate the cells so they fire more easily, they increase the gain. 5-HT1A receptors, among other places, are located on the axons and they hyperpolarize. So they almost mm. counteract the effect on the pyramidal cells that you see when you activate the 2A receptors. But the 1A is also located in other places in the brain. So we really don't understand. I mean, you know, the brain is much more complex than we can possibly comprehend. And 